Tuesday morning. Morning. Just getting ourselves ready to go here in the truck. We are off on our way to Calgary, Alberta. Cowtown. They got no cows in town, but uh, they got them surrounding. So I guess that's why they call it Cowtown. Rodeo Town. It's sort of like Canada's Texas. Alberta. Diesel. Hey. Excited? You excited? Overjoyed, man. Overjoyed. I see these gophers here. And your birds. Diesel's uh, food bin here is almost empty, so we went and got him a new bag of dog food today. 25 pounds of Origin Original. $95. You better love me, man. You better love me. Only the best for the weasel, you know what I mean? Only the best. That's what it looks like there. I got it from Pet Value in Steinbeck. Very high quality food. I've talked about it on my videos before. Uh, it's actually uh, made from local ingredients. I thought it was sold only in Canada, but I actually found out recently, within the last week, that they actually sell it in the United States as well. And when you buy it in the States, it's made from fresh products in the states so i believe that they make it in kentucky in the united states and they make it in alberta in canada they might have a few different plants in the states because there's so many more people so many more regions they might even have a plant in eastern canada i don't know but uh, the point of their food brand is to have the freshest food and freshest ingredients possible so i live here in western canada so i know that this food that i bought right now supported Western Canadian farmers and the Western Canadian economy and it's as fresh as it could possibly be for diesel. This is not an ad. I was just talking about his food because I wanted to. I do that sometimes. I talk about stuff I like. Just for fun. So welcome to the vlog. If you haven't already, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you around. Wait till the end. There's links to past videos of mine. Uh, they're also down below in the description. You can go down one, two, three, four years ago. See what I looked like four years ago, what I was doing. I've been making videos every day for, for a while. You can go check it out if you want. I go through the extra effort of putting it down there for you. There's uh, my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that's down below as well. There's a mailing address for people who uh, want to mail letters. I get really nice uh, handwritten letters. Which reminds me, I have to give a shout out. I have to give a shout out. Where did it go? Where did it go? That's not it. Oh no! I got a letter. I got a letter from California with a wedding gift inside of it. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Well, you'll have to trust me. And there was just one small note inside. All it said was, this is for your wedding. Don't back out. <laughs> hey, lovely from California, so. Thank you very much. So we had stopped here in Portage La Prairie, Manitoba on our way west to eat some breakfast. We had a good bowl of Breakfast of Champions, uh, also known as Fruit Loops. It was great, delicious. We're now gonna go to the other side of the truck stop here and wash our windshield off, because look at that junk that you're looking at right now. The camera doesn't even wanna focus on what's ahead of us. There we go, because it wants to focus on the bugs. It's trying to tell me, look, look at this disgusting windshield, clean it. We're just gonna meander our way over to the pumps and clean clean this bad boy off a little bit so you guys can see what's going on. You know what I mean? We're on the prairies of Canada right now. This is my home region of the world. And we have a lot of bugs here. I mean, like, by a lot, I mean more than you think a lot is. A ridiculous amount. So I'll wash them off now. They'll be back tonight, don't worry. Don't worry. This is our Flying J here. Fancy, isn't it? Very fancy. Do they at least got the long, the long ones? Okay, good, they got the long, so I don't have to crawl up on my hood. Okay. How they do it here in Portage La Prairie. You know how at most truck stops they got like those nice little buckets where you put the the, the washing this thing in? What's it called again? Squeegee. 
long day of Portage La Prairie just uses the garbage can. This whole thing. <laughs> I couldn't get it all off. Some of those bugs are really stuck on there. Look at that. Need to go through the streaking beacon again. Get a good bath. They always do a much better job than I do. Oh, but at least you guys have a clear line of sight now. You guys can see straight out the window. Look at that. See? There you go. You're welcome. There we go, Diesel. There we go, man. Let's give her. Dun, dun, dun. Hashtag impress truck stop lawn. Wish my lawn looked that good. Why does it stink like cat litter here? It's disgusting. Alright. Watch out for the potholes. You don't want to lose your truck in one of them. Stop sign for no reason. All right, we're gonna get back onto Highway One westbound here. At this point of the country, this is the only federal Trans Canada going through the nation. There's only one, but as soon as we get to the other side of Portage La Prairie, that's where the other highway breaks off. Then we have two. Up here, they're not freeways. As you can tell, I have to wait for traffic. And there's a lot of it. You know, overpasses are such an amazing idea. God bless America and their overpasses and their actual freeways. Technically, if you wanna if you wanna be technical about this while we're staring at nothing here, all of our highways in Canada are technically freeways. They're all free to drive on except for the 407 in Toronto, but we don't speak of the 407. There we go. Four ways activated. Let's gain some speed and let's have some fun. myself up some summer thunder here cleans bugs tree sap road dirt from windshields first of all why would you include tree sap I guess some people park under trees or something right well we're gonna fill ourselves up and put the rest in our cubby right. Drink it up, girl, drink it up. Come on. Chug, 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 chug. She can chug pretty good, eh? She's the life of the party at all college parties, you know what I mean? This girl right here. All right, come on. Give me another one. Look at her chug that, eh? Okay, 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 she's full, she's full. Waste not. All right. There we go. Oh, so this thing from pretty much empty took about one and three quarter of these four liter jugs, or one gallon. 
and the ones I didn't use, I stored them around on this side. I don't know why I do it on this side, because I always have to walk all the way around then. But, and then you got this little cubby here. I store them in here. All the straps. I've got an excessive amount of straps right now. I've got to hand those in from my last load. I'll just throw them on top of that there. And this one. Let's hope that, that lid seals properly. Yeah? It's not going to leak everywhere. Ugh. Risky. I like to live life on the edge. You know what I mean? You want to know the cool thing about this truck? The way you close the hood? Watch this. <laughs> it's got shock absorbers in there so that the hood will never slam down. I love freaking out other drivers at the truck stop <laughs> with that. Uh, if I'm at the pumps, just quickly checking the oil or whatnot, I'll open the hood, check the oil, fill up the washer fluid like I just did now. And then I'll just, you know, lean on the hood and push it over and let it free fall. And everyone's like, <gasps> just waiting for it to go boom down, right? Right at the last second. <gasps> uh, kink. I look around at everybody, they're all smiling. Ah, you got me. You got me. I was scared. Windshield does still look pretty good. We got one bug over here. You can't really see it, eh? That's right there. Right there. Let's see how good this uh, washer fluid works. All right, let's try it out. Not bad, I guess, not bad. All right, let's get out of here. Turn the AC back on. Okay, rock on diesel. It's rock and roll, buddy. It was more like roll, but driving through these Canadian truck stops, it's sort of like rock and rolling through here, you know what I mean? Do more rocking than rolling. Whoa. I love these potholes. Saskatchewan. Just pulling into the Flying J here to grab us a cup of a cup of liquid life, a cup of coffee, some call it. Not gonna be staying here, doesn't look like there's any room to park here anyway. And I still want to go a long ways. I got five hours left on my clock for today yet, just under. So I just want a coffee just to give me a little bit extra of a zip. Just gonna pull through here in front of the pumps. Quickly run in, grab one, run out, and get out of here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wash this windshield while I'm here. Why not? I'm right here, I may as well. This pump is like right by the door. All right. You know, I should really talk about dressing properly as a truck driver. Now, taking some pride in the way you look and smell to others, even if it's just at a truck stop. I used to be the kind of guy to, you know, just wear sweatpants and, you know, old dirty shirts. I still don't wear my best clothes while I'm trucking. I don't, I, I wear old clothes. My shirts are mostly all way too big. But, uh, a shower shocking to see how some people just let themselves totally slide because oh you're alone in a truck all the time right you hardly ever see people well do it for yourself don't do it for me do it for yourself you'll feel better about yourself I promise you don't have to dress in a suit every day though I think that'd be cool I always thought about that <laughs> driving a truck in a suit walking into the truck stop <laughs> high class trucker <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you get my point, right? 
and off into the western sunset we go, except for the sun is setting in the north, which is weird. Uh, tomorrow, when I'm filming this, tomorrow is the longest daylight day of the year. The sun, the light of the sun won't even go down. The sun will go down below the horizon here in southern Canada, but uh, the sky, the northern sky will stay bright all night. Same thing with tonight, the northern sky won't get dark. The sun will just dip below the horizon over there on to our right. But I'm facing straight west right now and the sun is setting way over there on the right. And the day comes to an end. All good things must come to an end. Is what they say, right? All good things must come to an end. Even this vlog. It's not coming to an end just yet, but as soon as I find a parking spot, we're gonna wrap this baby up. First, I gotta wait for a green light. They got two red lights here. Can you see that? Two, just in case you missed the one. It's a double red. How many people ran the red light on the turn here that they had to put two? Hold on there, buddy. Hold on. I'm coming. Medicine Hat, the gas city. Well, a lot of gassy people out here, apparently. You know, one thing I've noticed since uh, Diesel's been neutered is he used to have to pee on like 10 different things before he'd be empty. Now he gets it all out in one shot. Here we are, my home for the night. Right beside this guy. I don't know why, like, they started off parking this far back and there's no lines on here because it's a gravel parking lot, right? And they all started parking further and further and further and further forward. So now I park a little further back like this because this is where the trucks are actually supposed to be. And it works out well because now the cab of my truck is beside this guy's trailer instead of beside his truck, just in case he wants to idle. I'm very picky about where I park for night. I like it to be quiet. So here's a nice little illustration for you. A few days ago, I was right down there. Now, I've traveled all the way up here, all the way up here, stopped by at home, and now I'm about right there there. Clear across the continent. Almost. Diesel, you're such a messy eater. Food goes in the food bowl. I put it in there for a reason, man. Food belongs in the food bowl. Not in your water either. I always throw these ones out because they get all soggy. That's a big mess right there we gotta clean up before we go to bed, right? Get all our garbage taken out. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Ticks have been actually kind of bad this year. Uh, make sure you check your dogs for ticks regularly. Diesel has uh, had quite a few this year that I found on them. Uh, usually I find them pretty early when they either just latch on or just after they latch on. They have to latch on for at least 24 to 48 hours if they have Lyme disease to transfer to the dog. Uh, there's been a couple that have been on there much longer than I wanted them to be. But so far he's been lucky and hasn't gotten it. And usually I catch them right away. But yeah, you don't want them to catch anything from those ticks. And they're everywhere this year. I mean, they're everywhere every year. But I've noticed that the ticks are really bad this year in specific. Diesel always gets them on his ears here. Anywhere around his ears. And under his collar. So actually I've started taking his collar off as much as possible. Which I should be doing anyways. But sometimes I just used to leave it on there for the day. Uh, but now I, I started taking it off because the ticks would go underneath the collar and try to hide under there. But we found them, didn't we, Diesel? We found them. You can tell I'm tired when. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. Links around my face here are going to take you to past vlogs of mine one year ago, two years ago. A couple other links down here on the screen if you want even more links to what I was doing on this day four years ago, three years ago. Links are down below in the description. Uh, for those of you who've been asking about my mailing address, also down below in the description. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, down below in the description. All of Brit's stuff, down below in the description. Anything else you might possibly need, down below in the description. If you're... It's down there. See you tomorrow.